Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Plat. For Platypus is the name, and welcome to another unit review. Today, we're doing Boss Troll. Now, I did skip over Boss Troll earlier because it's the most uninteresting of the two recent S and A units. Um, out of like, you know, people care about S units, and Zoma's amazing, Baramos is cool, um, and people like the dragon a lot. So, this one just kind of got skipped over, but I definitely wanted to revisit it in case you had it, didn't know if you wanted to level it, or you were thinking about pulling more for Zoma and you get him by mistake because you're more likely to have this one than the dragon. Um, because you're pulling, most people are pulling for Zoma. So most people got this guy just by that. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So first let's go over the stats here. Is this max? Is this, okay. Sorry. I saw 327. I thought that was HP. No, 972 HP. Fantastic HP. That is very good. This is for, keep in mind, like that's not insane for all S units. Um, it would still be really high. Um, but this is really, this guy only goes up to level 90. He doesn't even go up to level 100, right? So, um, 972 HP is insane. MP, again, it's dependent on the abilities. We'll take a look at that in a minute. 327 attack, not incredible, but it is pretty good. 215 defense. I would say that's a bit on the low end for sure. Um, 261 agility. I don't know. It, it, it's like, it doesn't strike me. I think it's like recently, decently fast, but not... It's it's just kind of like in this middle ground, maybe slightly lower middle ground. Um, 184 wisdom, who cares? Two movement. Um, let's go here. What do you get for awakening here? Rare insulate. This one's interesting. Is this increased defense? Rarely greatly raises breath resistance for four turns. That's particularly not good. But sometimes breath attacks are used. I think right now, actually, this unit might have some extra power in Japan potentially because in Japan they just got this new breath unit that's really powerful so having some like really big breath resistance might actually help and there's no other way to decrease breath damage right like this is basically it right here right now so but he also has really high HP so you don't usually care about that but it is something that is worth it uh his core ability let's take a look at his resistances here whoosh and zam and bang and crack um, being weak to crack is kind of awkward when Zoma is going to be around so much and being weak to bang isn't that big of a deal. It's weird that he's weak to the two banner units. Um, weak to cracks also bags. A lot of people have killing machine. I don't really like to see crack weakness, um, but it's not like the worst thing. You're just not going to put him in in some of these fights with certain guys. Um, the Zam resistance also like, is there anything good with Zam right now? I don't know even. I don't really think so. But let's get to the meat and potatoes. Let's get to his abilities. The 105 potency Sizz type physical damage to all enemies in an area of effect. It is cool that it hits everyone, but it's 105% potency, like even at plus 10. Okay, can I see what it's at at plus 10? Someone told me how to and I forgot, but it's um, it's just, it's it's not strong enough. It starts at 105. It's not going to get strong enough to be relevant. Um, His attack is good. It's not like crazy, but it's like good. But you're not going to be using this unit for that, probably. Um, but there are times you might want to use it. I don't know. I, I'm not too impressed with this ability. It only costs 5 MP, and it is more powerful than his normal attack. So if something has elemental uh, Sizz weakness, this guy could still do some pretty good work. You know, you want him to be in the middle of everybody, which you can make happen. Although he's very slow as well in terms of movement. Deal 195% physical damage to one enemy and occasionally lower defense. So this one's kind of interesting. Um, it's not particularly good good but it's not bad right because i think um i think helion has mince or something like that where it hits three times and has a chance but it might be rarely but rarely three times is high more likely than occasionally once um now if this was like to greatly decrease it occasionally then we could be talking if it was like two stages um but it's probably around a 50 percent chance 195 percent potency is a pretty good hit so this is probably what you're going to be doing most of the time um, it's not a bad attack for sure. It's just not as good as Helion, who's also an A unit, who also just has better attacks and has better movement and higher attack. But this unit has 972 HP, right? And what we have here, heal a major amount of HP to the user. So this guy is kind of invincible, you know? Unless they have, like, Zoma and they, you know, deal, like, a thousand damage to him in one hit. This guy is really hard to kill. He's got really high HP. His defense doesn't need to be that high just because the mechanics of the game, you know? Um, but he's actually not that strong against physical, which is kind of weird, but a lot of teams are, you know, just don't use him against physical teams with his low defense. I wonder how good Emperor Slime is against an all-physical team, actually. I'm interested. I, I don't know. Um, but 
Scrap metal does decent damage. Meditation kind of keeps him just alive forever. So we're going to bring him into a um, fight here. He actually has a pretty cool leadership ability. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that. His leadership ability is surprisingly not good, but I do like it for future. Um, raises demon physical potency by 10%. Like, it's not crazy good or anything like that, right? It's the same thing as armful. I think with the armful does undead. Um, and there's even less demon physical than there. A lot of demons are magic. Um, like a lot of them, but so it's not a good leadership ability, but I like it. And there are, there's definitely chances it could be good. Um, also I tend to like a buff more than a debuff, like a buff. You're always going to be kind of around your own units. It's easier to guarantee that because you start around your own units. Um, and you can control where your units go. Uh, as for trying to debuff multiple enemies, that could be pretty tough. Like maybe it's better. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Now I know I do the great troll fight. Some people don't like that I do the great troll fight, but I actually think it's a, um, I think it's just, I like having a standard of like, you can see how it goes in every single fight, but I also could totally understand if, uh, people, you know, I, I might switch it up more, but I actually think this is a great fight for him, right? He's mostly a tank, right? He, he, he does some damage, but he's mostly a tank. Let's go ahead and give him this badass sword because it gives him a lot of HP. It brings my guy's HP over a thousand. He's only at 897 too. And he has 337 attack. So my guy's at, like, Awaken 3, which is pretty good. Surprisingly, a lot of people have this guy Awaken 5 because of Zoma pulls. But um, I I didn't really get... Um, I, I kind of got unlucky with him, which is fine. Um, I mean, we'll, we'll keep the opinion to the end, I guess. But let's just... Uh, let's see what he does. Let's see if he impresses me. I Needless to say, I haven't used this unit a lot. I don't use A units a lot in general in terms of the ones they have to pay for. We brought our 4 Awaken Musifer for some... Uh, Fun. We actually bought Great Troll. I don't even know which one's the which one is the one that which one's which. Okay, Great Troll. Actually, Great Troll has less HP at level ninety. In fact, what's his attack? His attack's lower. His defense lower. His agility's lower. His HP is lower. What does Great Troll have? He has that two fifty percent against everything, which is insane, and he has two sixteen percent Zam. So he just has way more damage. Um, this guy does have more attack, but he doesn't have the abilities to back it up. But scrap metal is pretty good. We're going to put this guy right in the middle. Um, we're going to put this guy on the side. And I kind of want to put you up here just for shits and gigs. And you'll be back here. Turn it off auto. Turn it on to fast. And let's continue. I hope that my Gigantos is not level 90. He's only level 65. I haven't leveled him up that much yet. I am going to keep leveling him up, but he's just not quite there yet. We're going to put you right in front. We're going to see how you tank. We didn't even give you armor, so I'm curious. Um, we are... We actually might move him back one so he can get some support. Can we? Are we actually faster than this guy? No, not quite. You know what? Let's just go ahead and help him out. So we don't get the physical boost for Musifer, but he is a demon. But Musifer is just a good unit, which is why I'm using him. Only 298 on that, actually. Why was that so low, Musifer? What's your wisdom at right now? Rizm's only at 252, so that might be the issue. He doesn't have a staff equipped, I don't think. Even though this guy... Like, what's this guy's attack at level 65? It's already 256. That's pretty darn good. This occasionally stuns. Occasionally stun is really good. Obviously, it's bad against this guy. Seer is really bad. Deals moderate Frizz-type martial damage, unfortunately. Oh, dude, look how good this unit is. He does good damage, and he gets to sleep. But against an all-physical team, sleep is pretty bad. But we do have a Musifer, so that could be good. Bring it on, buddy. Ooh, Kabuff is kind of lame, but we got a Musifer, so it's going to be fine. So we can see he's got Scrap Metal, and he's got the... It, it actually doesn't do surprisingly bad damage. The 105% is, like, okay. Um, I think I will use it. Yeah, I mean, that's, like, not bad, right? We'll start moving around this way. Start stomaching them. Is that what it's called? You stomach them? Should you want to use the boom? The boom's a little more fun. Crackle does more damage. Let's do the boom. I think the boom does more total team damage. And it's kind of what Musifer does, right? He, he booms. We should have gotten a little more. We should have equipped the boom staff on him. He does way more damage. All right. Half resistance. Let's go. Stone throw 150. Actually, stone throw is pretty good. And obviously, this guy does insane damage to inorganics. Ooh, was hoping we got that stun. Dark Spike. Does Seer get it? Seer doesn't get it, but Dark Spike does. 
pretty good. I really like this guy. This knight er errant, I believe his name is. Is he a, is he the B unit? Let's take a peek here. Hey there, kitty cat. Knight errant, knight aberrant. Uh, really good. Like the Zam attack does good damage. Seer kind of fucking sucks. Actually, do you get increases to to Seer as you rank up? Seer potency plus ten percent. That's really bad. Why is Seer so? So that's the worst thing about him is Seer, and which is his core ability. It just like really weak. Um, but Dark Spike's pretty good, and Snooze is fantastic. We all already know that. I actually kind of want to just uh, meditation yourself. 218 is pretty darn good. All things considered. I'm just going to keep booming. I don't even think boom's the best thing to use here, but it's more fun. And it's three units, you know. Ooh, good, good swing. Our guy might die. I want to see if we can decrease his defense. Oh, this doesn't do that. This is the wrong character. Uh, well, let's see if we can stun this guy. Good job. Man, Gigantos is pretty cool. I'm actually a fan. I guess this does, like, almost the same damage to the main target. So this actually might be a better move here. Probably sleeping is better. We just let him kill two units here because he has the attack prep. He's going to spin and kill both these guys. But also, it's like, eh, whatever. I don't. This isn't really about winning. This is showing off Great Troll, right? Who, who, he's doing his job super well. He's here, and he's fucking tanking, bro. And all, obviously, if you get that meditation up just, like, even a little bit, it's going to be way better. 250 potency is quite a lot. I'm actually kind of impressed by Great Troll, too. We should have seen a Boom would have done it, but... Moosefur is not the best Crackle user, but he is still pretty good at it. Oh, he did a he got a brutal blow on that too. Damn, that was I mean, I don't want to say that was brutal, but obviously. Um I do want to lower his defense if I can. Nice, good job. Oh, it does lower it by two stages. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's a 50% defense down. That brought his defense down to 196. That actually is like pretty that's way better than I thought. Um I think that might have some potential, actually. Is Was that known? Is it always that way if you uh, lower defense? It increases. Yeah, that's fine, bro. We'll move back here. Actually, can you survive this? You don't have enough defense. Is my defense down, too? Yeah, my defense is also down. Whatever, just keep smacking them. You're going to die here, I think, because this guy does do an insane amount of single target damage. I don't think he could reach Musifer here. Oh, dude, he fucking lived. Dude, Great Troll is pretty fucking awesome, man. Maybe we should have healed. I actually thought he would uh, die for sure, so I figured there'd be no point in healing. All right, does he die here? Damn, if we would have healed that one turn instead of dealing that damage, I think we would have been fine. Also, if meditation wasn't the weakest thing of all time, like if we had it like plus five, that'd be huge. You can't even reach us next turn. One, two. Unless you could throw something, I don't know about it. But this is um this is over. I'm pretty confident. All right, Musifer, show us what you got. Good job, Musifer. Yeah, Great Troll actually survived that hit. Or, um, I don't even know. Boss Troll? I, I'm sorry. They're, they're, all the trolls are the same fucking name. Um, that's pretty impressive, actually. I didn't expect him to do that. So, overall, my opinion's gone up on him. He's not an amazing unit. He's not a great damage dealer. But the two defense down that occasionally lands, I think, is pretty good. If you, like, this is the kind of fight that he actually excels in. Is a fight where he could stand in a spot. Like, there's you know, impa impassable terrain and he could stand in a spot and they just can't get through. Right. Uh, cause they have to go through him to do it or something, or they have to go around and waste turns. Um, cause he's really hard to kill. He has super high HP. He self heals and he's got pretty good single target damage that could lower physical. Um, the thing about lowering physical is it, or defense, it's not as good. Um, because 
It's, it, where, where he's good is where he's tanking and they can't get through him. But lowering defense is less good for that because then your units also can't get to them, right? You tend to want casters behind them taking advantage of the fact that they can't get through your choke point. Um, but still, overall, uh, I think he's a better unit than people have given him credit for. I actually quite like him. Um, much He might be the tankiest unit in the game in terms of um, just self-sustained tankiness, right? Like There might be some units with more HP. There might be some units with higher defense. Um, but the combination of also having meditate without having to run an additional, like you don't need to, he doesn't have cover obviously, which would be awesome. Um, but the fact that he can just heal himself is pretty big. So I like him. Um, I'm going to say, is he worth it? Yes, because you're pulling for Zoma. Don't pull specifically for this unit still. I don't think, I think there's a lot of units that fulfill his job that are, even if they're not as good, some of them are better. Some of them aren't quite as good. So, you know, give or take. Um, but I think there's a lot of things that fill this job. Like King Bubble Slime is free, um, or at least he was free. So, um, and he's arguably better in a lot of ways in most situations. So, um, I would stick with a unit like that. But there's no doubt that if you have this unit, he's totally worth your investment. I think I've been impressed with him. Also, I've decided we've got to start judging units by their dance. Come on, you will give me the jive. There we go. Um, unfortunately, he, his dance, I don't love a little hula hula. I'm going to give his dance a two out of 10, but it, he does look kind of like a gross king slime. So I am going to bump him up to a straight up five out of 10. And that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for platypuses, per platypus. I will catch you next time.